Hi there. In this video, we'll be setting up the little servo that came in your kit. Let's take a look at it close up. So this is called a micro servo. Servos are characterized usually by the amount of torque they can put out. It says this is capable of 9 G's. Now it's hard to hard to know whether that's correct. It seems like a pretty small one. Uh, the quality of servos is determined often by the types of gearing that they have. The motor that's inside here runs at a very high speed and then that speed is reduced using a set of uh, gears so that maybe 20 or 30 turns of the motor will result in maybe a 5 degree turn of the shaft. And that's what gives it its torque is the gearing down uh, from many revolutions to a partial, re partial revolution of the shaft. The uh, the kit comes with several arms. Let's just drop this one on for now. You can see how that works. Now this is not, uh, the, don't try to to turn this manually. Um, you could strip the gears. The gears are are nylon. The better quality ones have metal gears, but they're more expensive. But if you're doing something where you require high dependability, then you, you know, like in a robot or something like that, uh, you might want to choose a more expensive one. These are used mainly for radio control, uh, airplanes, helicopters, um, drones, that kind of thing. The way this is connected up is um, the wires that go to the servo. There's usually usually a brown one, a red one, and a yellow or orange one. The brown one is ground. The red one is five volts and the orange or yellow or white one, in this case it's orange, this one is the signal. Here's the Arduino website page on the sketch that we're going to use, which is a demonstration of a servo motor, our servo motor, and it just sweeps it back and forth across 180 degrees and it shows you how to <clears throat> excuse me it shows you how to connect up the servo the schematic and then the code and that same code is here you get it by going to examples Oops. and find servo. If you can't find servo, go to the library, include library to manage libraries, and you can find it there. It should already, though, be installed in your version of Arduino. So that's here, sweep. Here it is here. You connect up your signal to the servo, pin 9. You can change it to pretty much any digital pin. This sets it up and then it moves the servo in steps of one degree 
delaying 15 milliseconds each time. When it gets to 180 degrees, then it rotates backwards. So let's upload it and switch over to our camera. So we've uploaded the sketch, but we haven't actually connected up the servo. So I'm connecting the brown pin to ground. The red pin, plus 5 volts. And when you connect it up to power, you may see the servo twitch a little bit. That's normal. And then pin 9 is connected to the orange. Now the way you would presumably work with this is something like this. Assuming this is a kind of a linkage. It would work like that. So that should get you started on the servo. Have fun, and see you next time.